Shalom, it's Rabbi Alex here in Cantor Frank uh, for our Shabbat, our Shir Shalom story time at PJ Library. And we have a special guest. First of all, Hope Bongiorno, say hello. Shalom. And Hope brought a little surprise guest with her. So who this is this? This is Moses. This is Moses. <laughs> Moses is the greatest name for a dog ever. <laughs> Moses, can you lead our people? into freedom? Can you do that? <laughs> it can lead us to dinner. Did it lead us to dinner, yeah. yeah. So we're going to tell a little story today. Uh, does, before I tell the story, does Moses like to sleep? Moses loves to sleep. Okay, I bet Moses is a good sleeper. This story is actually about someone named Shlomo. Shlomo. But Moses is in it, so don't worry. So Moses, we're going to need you. Uh, Shlomo was not just a good sleeper, he was the best sleeper. <laughs> he would literally fall asleep anywhere. The people of Israel could be walking through the sea and he would fall asleep in the middle and someone would have to wake him up or carry him. They would be walking through the desert, they might even be fighting an enemy. They might even be looking for water and wherever they were, you would find Shlomo asleep. He could fall asleep anywhere, but he had a problem. What was his problem? His problem was that he was supposed to be a guard. What's the problem? All <laughs> of the Israelites were guards, and okay, he was in Moses. charge. I think you're adding a picture. Come on over here. Come Come on, Moses. Moses. Come. Moses, like all the Israelites, were in charge of guarding the people. They had to look out into the desert to see if anyone was coming. And sure enough, anytime Shlomo was preparing or needed a guard, all of the people of Israel would make fun of him because within two minutes, they would fi find him asleep. Now, this is not a good thing for a guard, right? This is not a good thing. A terrible thing. thing. So Shlomo was not surprised to be called into Moses' office. Now, not the dog Moses. But the Moses. So he gets called into the Moses, and he's a little bit nervous. He's like, what is Moses going to tell me? He's going to punish me? It's going to be the worst thing in the world? What's going to happen? So he's waiting for Moses, and sure enough, he falls asleep oh, no. <laughs> while waiting for Moses. So Moses wakes him up. Shlomo! Shlomo, you need to wake up there, Moses. You're doing that. Uh, and uh, Shlomo wakes up. And says, yes, 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 what is it? And Moses says, I have something very important to tell you. I need you. No, the people of Israel need you. You have an important job, the most important job. You, we need you to be a guard. Oh. Not an ordinary guard. You are going to be a guard of Shabbat. And Shlomo looked at Moses and gave him a very quizzical look. What does that mean to be a guard of Shabbat? What on earth can that be? And Moses said, here's what I need you to do. I want you to take your bed every Friday night out into the middle of the camp. And I want you to lie in your bed and go to sleep just as you do so beautifully. And then for the remainder of Shabbat, all I want you to do is to eat your fill of manna, of that special food they would get, and sleep and enjoy yourself. And you are there to show everyone how to guard Shabbat. So Shlomo thought about this for a minute and he said, I think I could do this. I so, like that job. Yeah, it's a pretty good job. So Shlomo, Friday night, brings his bed out into the middle of the Israelites, puts it down, and goes to sleep. Now all the Israelites, yeah, see, Moses, I don't know if they could see it over there, but I'm gonna see Moses it. is uh, looking over here. Cantor's going to check. So Shlomo is uh, sleeping in front of all the Israelites while everyone else is guarding and being vigilant and trying to protect the people. Sure enough, Shlomo is snoring away. <laughs> All the Israelites come over to him and say, What are you doing, Shlomo? Wake up! And Shlomo says, Get out of here. Moses told me to go to sleep. 
And all the people, they're kind of making fun of him. They don't know what to do. What is this person sleeping? Well, we need to be guarding the camp. Uh, and he sleeps the whole night. The day he wakes up, has some his beautiful mana, eats that, and goes back to sleep. And the people are watching him, and slowly but surely, they too get a little sleepy. <sighs> <laughs> they too start to sleep. <laughs> and sure enough, after no time at all, the entire camp is asleep. <laughs> and for the first time on their journey, they really are celebrating Shabbat. Lo and behold, they come out of it, and Moses says to Shlomo, Come over here. You did a beautiful job, Shlomo. He kisses him on the cheek. You are a wonderful guard of Shabbat. You have done the most amazing thing. You have convinced the people of Israel to sleep. Because we all need a little sleep, a little schlupping, don't we? And that's how the Israelites learn to observe Shabbat. What do you think? Love it's a great story. story. I love Shlomo. We all can be Shlomo at different <laughs> points. I know if you ask Kashira, she'd say, oh. yep, definitely doing that a lot. <laughs> we can practice. Uh, well, I think Cantor has a song to wake us up. Oh, isn't there something special about Moses, what Moses is studying to do also? Yes. Oh, yeah. Moses is studying to be a mitzvah dog or a therapy dog. He's going to go into schools and nursing homes and hospitals and help people that aren't feeling well feel better. Or people that are anxious or frightened, he's going to just go and share some love. He's That's just true. like Shlomo. He's helping people out. He's doing a mitzvah. Yeah. And he's That's so cute. That's a great thing, Moses. Thank you, Moses. <laughs> and Hope and Cantor Frank and myself. We wish you a Shabbat Shalom. Have a great rest of your week and a wonderful day. Shalom. 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 <laughs>